Still no word on whether they will oppose this motion at the World Health Assembly, but this global support really does increase pressure on Beijing to back this probe. 62 other nations will support it when it goes to a vote at the World Health Assembly tonight, including India, Japan, Canada and the 27 members of the EU. Noticeably, there's one thing missing from this motion and that's any mention of where this virus originated, which is Wuhan or China. Uh, showing the tack being shown by uh, other countries in not singling out one particular country. The Trade Minister is urging Beijing to get on board and back this inquiry, but not everyone in the government happy with the absence of any mention or reference to China. I hope that China will participate. I hope China will come on board at the World Health Assembly, uh, joining many, many other nations in supporting uh, the obvious need for an inquiry into COVID-19 its origins, its handling right across the world because we've had a circumstance where hundreds of thousands of people have died, millions of people have lost their jobs, billions of people have had their lives disrupted and the least the world can expect is an inquiry that allows us to learn the lessons. The government should act on those things which I believe are in our direct control, namely to come up with a plan for reparations and a plan to decouple from China. Look, I have to say the push for uh, an inquiry into the origins of the virus are commendable, but the reality is that China will do everything in its power to avoid scrutiny. And we've seen overnight the motion that is likely uh, to go up and possibly be passed has been considerably watered down and just from a cursory reading doesn't appear to even have a reference to China. Now, Tom, New Zealand's leader has also confirmed that her country will be backing this inquiry into the origins and spread of the pandemic, although Jacinda Ardern also says that she doesn't care about any witch hunt or singling out one country in particular. We are um, part of, uh, I think, a, a sensible call um, just for us to learn uh, what we can from COVID-19. And, and I think everyone would be of the view that if we want to prevent this from happening again, we do need to learn lessons. But what I am very clear on, Ryan, is that we're not interested in blame. Uh, we're not interested in any kind of witch hunt. We're just interested in learning. And all this push for the inquiry, it has angered China. Senior ministers are being told, basically, we're not even having a conversation by their counterparts in Beijing. Yeah, that's right, Tom. These diplomatic tensions still bubbling away, although there have been discussions at a departmental level. Some senior ministers are struggling to get on to their Chinese counterparts. The trade minister hasn't heard back. He's tried to put in phone calls with his counterpart in Beijing. Meanwhile, the agriculture minister, David Littleproud, did hear back from his Chinese counterpart who pretty much said there would be no opportunities for trade discussions in the near future. So with potential tariffs on our barley looming and suspended beef imports, there's a lot of issues to be worked through and this isn't a good sign that that will be done easily. Tom?